In crime news tonight, a local Colexco juice and fruit bar was burglarized for the fourth time in the last three months. Our reporter Vanessa Gangora spoke with the owners about how this has affected their family business. Trapicana has been in business for two years, and the owner says burglaries didn't start until this year. She fears for her family and says having to move is on the table. We're very stressed. We don't know what to do anymore. One incident, a homeless guy came in with a backpack with a gun and a knife. The owner, Trapicana, is fed up saying she thinks these burglaries are happening because of a lane closure blocking their entrance. The Calexico Police Department says the front glass doors were shattered. Surveillance footage shows the burglar entering, stealing the cash register, then handing it off to the second suspect. Little did they know, no money was in the register. They don't steal our money, but it's more like damages that they make. So that's affecting us also, because the little money we have like extra, it goes to the windows including the cost of the register, $1,800. The Calexico Police Department is asking for the public's help. I feel like we should all look out after each other because you never know what situation we're in. Sergeant Manuel Ceja says there have already been 119 thefts this year and recommends investing in security to protect your belongings. So what we do recommend is get an audible alarm if you can afford one, which can notify the police department. Second, um, if you can get some type of security bars in the interior of your business, that would be a great deterrent. Sergeant Seha says the two suspects are facing felony burglary and felony vandalism charges. If you have any information or recognize the suspects, you're asked to contact the Calexico Police Department at the number on your screen. Reporting in Calexico, I'm Vanessa Gangora.